Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create select and deselect all uh, button to select or deselect all checkboxes in your form. We go to our editor, make sure that you have some stash you already created as well as downloaded uh, the latest version of jQuery and put it into uh, their own folders. Now inside of the root of your site, create a new file called index.php and inside of this file let's put the default page structure uh, of the HTML document uh, then if we close this we're going to start with a diff with the idea of wrapper I've created the class in the my star sheet to make sure that uh, all the elements are centered on a page and uh, then we're going to start with the paragraph with the class select all and ID items. Now in, in between the opening and closing uh, paragraph tags we're going to type select all. After this we're going to start with the form with action uh, blank and method post. You can use get if you want to. We won't be using really form here for anything. It's just uh, for the purpose of validation obviously because we will be using labels and inputs they should be enclosed within that form uh, tags. Uh, inside of the form tag let's create a div with the class items. Now class items have to refer to the ID of our button because this is our trigger and we will be taking actually this attribute, the name of this attribute ID uh, in order to target our, our checkboxes later on because obviously you may have many different checkboxes uh, sets of checkboxes on within your form and then obviously uh, each button will have to trigger a separate uh, group so we've got our div and inside of our div let's start uh, with the label for item one i'm just using item as a generic name for for my uh, checkboxes and between the label tags input type checkbox name item one and then we have ID sorry item one as well as you may remember for attribute refers to the ID of the element so they have to be the same of your of course as well uh, and then we have value one as well and we can close our input then space item one is a label and let's copy this one we're going to multiply this several times copy and paste basically one after the other two three four five six I think it's going to be enough now let's replace the numbers about six 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 and item six then we have five four three And two. You can obviously gener generate all these items dynamically, either you by populating from a database or simply writing a PHP script to do it. Now we have nearly everything. Uh, let's include our CSS file as well. Right before the opening head tag, after our meta tags, my CSS file is inside of the CSS folder and it's called core.css. Now we go right to the bottom before the clo uh, closing body tag and we're going to include two JavaScript files as well. One of them is jQuery library and the other one will be the functions.js which we'll create in just a second. So JS jQuery 1.4.3.min.js. I'm assuming you've downloaded this, this file already from um, jQuery website. Then we have js functions.js. Let's create this file inside of the js folder functions.js. And now we are ready. We can actually close index.php as it's we finished with this file. Uh, now let's move to the next video and we're going to actually work with the functions.js in order to select and deselect all our checkboxes.